I stay away from here as much as possible, but I can see why if I was a tourist, I would come here immediately. <laughs> Bring a beer and a paper bag, drink, maybe get a hot dog, and uh, just fucking people watch. So we're in Times Square right now. I'm almost already regretting this because there's so many people out here. This is a great place for street photography, but maybe not specifically portraits, uh, especially slow and, and like, you know, intimate portraits. So we'll see, I'm gonna walk around, do a couple laps, and I'm really hoping I can get something because the light is fading fast, and honestly, this is stressing me out a little bit. All right, let's do it. It's rough out here. <laughs> One sixtieth of a second at F2.8. <laughs> <laughs> and my lens is a 3.5, so I'm not even hitting the right aperture. <laughs> oh boy. Excuse me. I'm like, saw you two from afar. I'm a street photographer and I take photos of strangers that I meet outside. Can I take a photo of you two? You good? All right, no worries. You look really nice together when you were having a nice little real moment. All right, all good. So we got a rejection. It's not the ideal way to start, you know, but it happens a lot, actually. Uh, for whatever reason, my first shot of the day sometimes is, is, is the no-go. But it is what it is. There's a million people here, so let's see what we find. But I really like that moment because it was a real moment. There's all this craziness happening here, and those two were just kind of like, you know, nestled into each other, relaxing, looking very, like, content in this chaos. And that's the exact kind of photo that I try to find when I'm out here. So I'm kind of sad I didn't get it, I'm bummed, but you know, we live. Yeah, that's a cool bike, man. Yo, I'm a street photographer and I take photos of people in the streets that are hanging out and relaxing. You look really cool chilling right here. Can I get a photo of you? Yeah? All right, I'm just trying to see how I want to get you. I like your posture and everything. Can you just put your phone away? So when I use cell, when cell phones are in the photo, you could tell like what year it is and all that. So I try to eliminate that. I shoot on film, so let me just measure the light. I'm Eric, by the way. What's your name? Alexander. What is it? Alexander. 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 Gotcha. Uh, hold on a second. All right. Two eight sixty. Anybody ever taken your photo in the streets before? Nah. I usually see guys with these bikes in the crew. Why are you alone? <laughs> oh, you you just got here. Gotcha, gotcha. There's a lot of people here. All right, here we go. All right, we get a little bit closer. I'm trying to get some of this backlight behind you, so. Actually, if I shoot this way, it might be cooler with the big buildings. Yeah, so keep your body where it is and just your face turned towards me like that. Okay. Hold that. All right, look straight in here. One, two, do one more. I'm trying to vary it up a little bit. Can you, are you able to lean forward and just kind of like lean right here? Yeah, just like that. Okay. All right, here we go. One, two, perfect. You got Instagram or something? I can share these with you. Do you mind if I ask you a couple questions? Like a, like a small interview. I just want to ask you about the experience of being photographed. Yeah, that's fine. Some people are very camera shy. I just want to ask you, what was it like to get photographed today in the streets? Uh, it was like pretty unexpected. Um, I was just like sitting, just like waiting for people to like come. <laughs> and like, um, like he just came up to me and I was like kind of surprised that like, he wanted to get photos of me. Is it, do you talk to strangers a lot in the streets or not? I mean, yeah, if they like start conversations with me, I, yeah, I'll, I'll talk to them. Okay, so me coming up to you and talking to you, that was, but it wasn't uh, weird. It was, you know, it was yeah, fine. Yeah, it was normal, it was normal. Okay. Is there anything that you've enjoyed talking to strangers in the past, like any particular interaction that you remember was cool? I mean, I don't, I don't think, I don't like remember much, but like I remember meeting like some like, some people who are into like the same stuff as I am. Yeah. And um, like we met and like kind of bonded over. That's what's up. So, you, so I guess in general, it sounds like there, there's something positive to, to getting out there and meeting people. Like, cause you never know who you're gonna meet and, and what you might share with them. Yeah. Cool, cool. Well, I appreciate you, Alexander. Let me thanks for letting me take your photo. I bet. So I hit you up on Instagram once I develop them because they're on film, so it'll take a little bit. All right, man. I appreciate you. Have a good one. 
I might climb up at least just for the shack. This is a cool spot. Times Square is pretty nuts. I, I, I stay away from here as much as possible, but I can see why if I was a tourist, I would come here immediately. <laughs> Bring a beer and a paper bag, drink, maybe get a hot dog, and uh, just fucking people watch. All right, let's go up to the top. If you haven't shot Easy 400 yet, what are you waiting for? We got about 300 rolls left and they're priced to sell. Get on it soon, link down below. Who, who got the most TikTok followers here? Me. How many you got? 80K. 80K? Shit, is a lot of dancing or what else What else you do on TikTok? Uh, skits, dancing. Skits, dancing. You do skits too? Yeah. Oh shit, that's what's up. I have 11K I'm, I'm 35, so I missed the whole boat with that. But if I was, I'm happy y'all doing it, because if I was your age, I'd be doing the same thing. That's cool. All right, I'm gonna watch you from up there. You gotta kill it, you gotta kill it. <laughs> I'm gonna try to get a group, a group portrait here when they're done with their dance. I'm trying to figure out what composition would make sense here. I can go for the classic, but I'm trying to see how I can get the phone involved somehow. Now I'm going to use the stairs. Let me ask. Can I get a photo of the three of you? Oh, yeah. I want to do like a trio photo. So, like, two of y'all sitting. Wait, do we have the photo too? We can get the photo? Of course. It's on film, so I got to develop it first. But once I get it, I'll send it to you. Um, See, I want, I want y'all to make like a triangle. Two of you in the front and one in the back. I know. like the shortest, so you gotta be down here. No, you bitch. No. You go, bro. You gotta stay down two, here. Two in the front and then one behind. Two in the front, one behind. But like, but like sitting and like, or like kneeling. You know like the old school photos where the break dancers are getting right, down right, and like right. hands are like that. Right, so who I want to get the Times Square shit back. and everything. Alright, no, go down. I'll go down. Yeah, 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 yeah. Alright, you come, come bring, bring your face closer. That's kind of cool, actually. That's tough. Let me just uh, focus here. <laughs> All right, here we go. One, two, do one more. Can you bring your face a little bit more in line with theirs? Yeah, just like that. All right, let me get some points. Then a point at the camera. All right, here we go. One, two, perfect. All right, I want to do a solo one. Got a solo one of you? Alright. Just right here? Uh -huh. Yeah, leaning just like that, chilling. Let me just double check my light. Y'all gonna do that dance again, right? I felt like that was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all looked a little uncoordinated, you know? Just, yeah, yeah, yeah. just trying to give you some feedback. <laughs> we don't do that dance. No, come on, you gotta. Alright, bet. Just like that, keep your head down like that, but then just like kind of look up to me, to me like that. So you can have your head down a little bit. Yeah, <laughs> All right, hold on a second. All right, here we go. One, two. All right. And can we do one? Uh, just get the shades down so I can see your eyes. You keep the shades on, but just let them hang a little bit so I can see your eyes. Just like you can hold them, just like that. Like you're a fucking superstar. You know, you're trying to like that, no, no, like this, like this, like that. Like yeah, exactly. Now eyes at the camera. All right, here we go. Smile. I want it, I want it. One, two, perfect. All right, let me get your info. Take the picture right here. I tried to, pa I, they didn't really follow my instructions that well in terms of posing, but you know, it's the streets. It's also loud and all that shit. So I try to get them in there kind of like as a compact unit, because I'm shooting six by six on a 80. So, you know, not a lot of room in there, but we'll see. That's why I did the solo portrait too. See if I could get something a little bit different. And that kid, he's at 80,000 followers on TikTok. So I try to make him look like a superstar. He's got the shades on. He's got the Times Square lights and shit behind him. We'll see how it looks, but I try my best. Yo le enseño lo que yo hago. Pero yo hago fotografía de de gente que yo conozco. Espera, déjame enseñarlo. De gente que yo conozco en la calle. Mire, él está sentado y muy muy interesante se ve. No, 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 mire, mire, ese es mi trabajo. Yo hago fotografía de gente que yo conozco en la calle, gente regular como usted y como yo. Very normal. 
Y después yo se la puedo mandar la foto a usted. No, no. ¿Está segura? No. Bueno, está bien, gracias. Él se ve muy chévere sentado ahí con la mano cruzada, bien inocente, por eso quiero tomar una foto. No, bueno, gracias, está bien. Damn, that's a shame. Man, that one hurts. That little kid looks so interesting, the way he was positioned on top of the, whatever this is called. And his expression was just like, I don't know, there was a lot going on behind those eyes. So I thought I almost had it, but I think that was his aunt or his, not his mom, because his mom was the other lady. But the lady was like, nah, nah, and I'm sure they're afraid, you know, they're selling stuff in the street. I'm not trying to get anybody in trouble, but I'm very disappointed that I couldn't get that shot, because that was going to be a good one. That's when it hurts. When somebody says no, it's all good. But when somebody says no for something that I really want, you know, it is what it is. <laughs> There's not much going on. Unfortunately, we didn't capture the audio for these clips. In this situation here, I saw a girl that was sitting at a table in Bryant Park reading a book, and she just looked really, really interesting. So I decided, you know what, I'm going to have to go interrupt her and ask if I can get a portrait. She was a bit hesitant at first, but I offered to show her my work, and once she saw my photos, she decided that it was all good. And I really wanted to maintain the scene as it was, because her posture and her kind of demeanor, all of that was just exactly the kind of thing that I'm attracted to in the streets for photographing. We set up a couple portraits and I actually got some Polaroid action in this one too. I find giving people Polaroids is a really nice way to kind of cap off the interaction. So uh, this was a very cool experience overall. My last portrait involved a teenager who was celebrating Sukkah with his family. Come, come closer, come over here. Let me just measure the light because I shoot on the film. I'll shoot a Polaroid too, so you can take one home. Okay. Maybe I should oh, get it with you too. The Polaroid, we could do that. Okay. You know what, I'm gonna get a full body one, because I think that'll look cool. All right, here we go. One, look right here. One, two. Okay, and we'll do one more. I gotta get close up. Just lean and lean right here. Okay. Actually, lean on this side so that the light can hit you. So you just, just lean right here. Oh, this side? Yeah, right here, right here is perfect. Hello. You wanna be in the photo too? I only have one photo left. I'll do a group photo though. Okay. Okay, look at the camera right here. One, two. Perfect. All right. Got the last shot there. Let's do the Polaroid. I didn't have any specific plans for this Polaroid shot. Honestly, I did it because I wanted it to be nice because he was there with his whole family and it was just a nice moment. So I figured why not give something to them for them to, you know, potentially cherish. So it's a good day today. Um, honestly, this all took an hour. I think from the moment I got here till now, it's been about an hour and we did a lot in an hour. And it was fun to talk to all these people today. A lot of different kinds of people, just in the audio died for a second there because my battery was low but um this is fun and shooting iso 100 film in this light was not easy so i haven't seen the photos yet so i hope they're good and you probably saw them already of course but this is a good day um very happy to be back out on the streets and i hope you enjoy this kind of youtube video because i'm enjoying making it and i'm definitely going to make some more of these um all right y'all to the next one peace you know it's Much better <laughs> Wait, you never told me your name. What's your name? I'm David or Wujun by Whoa. my original name. How do you say your Korean name? Wujun. Wujun. Yeah. Cool. And what do we got here? Well, it's a uh, Deerdorf 8x10 camera made in Chicago in 1954. Oh, you know and, all uh, the details. <laughs> the lens is Hugo Meyer Doppel Plasma from 1921. And uh, well, this camera originally belonged to a really famous female photographer named Frances McCallfield. She was the very first female to shoot for both. Interesting. And uh, yeah, she died in 2014. Her son or relative or one yeah. sold it to photo care. And Jeffrey Hirsch, the owner of photo care, sold it to me. And that was a week ago, actually. Oh, wow. Yeah, so I snatched it. It was like really good deal. Yeah, yeah. Really get it on. 
So yeah, I got it. It's actually my first 8x10 camera. Yeah, Sick. Well, well, right now I ran out of chemical. I can only develop 45, so I'm shooting for producing that. But yeah, it's, it's a really cool camera. It's really fun. That's awesome. Yep. And you shot this today? Yeah, I shot here and right there and down the, uh, the quadway. It's a shame this building is covered, isn't it? Yeah. I can live this for like a year now. It's That's annoying. Bad. Well, this is sick. I, it was very nice to meet you. Yeah, nice to meet you.